Hey there everyone, this is Chris from the Tech Basement. Up in the dining room area where we installed the Nest a couple weeks ago. Uh, I have been able to get it to connect to my Wi-Fi oh probably about a half an hour or so after I started, oh I should say stopped, the live stream. So what happened? Well, what happened was that I went ahead and added the MAC address of this device to my Wi-Fi. Well, after that, I went and tried to put it on the 5 gigahertz uh, connection. It would not apply. When I put it on the 2.4 gigahertz, it did finally connect. I didn't do anything different aside from adding that uh, MAC address to my wireless. Now, here's the, here's the thing is that yesterday before deciding to do this video and looking into things and see if that MAC address was still there, it is not. So I'm not sure exactly what happened to it, but it's up and running, it's connected, I'm happy. One thing I am not happy about is I still have not heard anything back from the Nest. Oh ticket that I put in. So that, that's another thing. If you're not tech savvy, you want to put something like this in, get someone, maybe a friend, something like that, that knows what they're doing and they can mess around with a few things and finally make it happen. It may just be my router that's being a little finicky. Everything else I've put on there I have not had any problems. I've had light bulbs that I've been able to connect up to it. I have my uh, Google Home, my Google Mini. Uh, let's see what else is there that I have that's home automated right now. Um, and, and my front door. It's all connected, no problem. Uh, so I'm not sure exactly where the glitch was but I was finally able to get it to connect. Now, with that being said, let's just dive into the different oh, settings that this has and how you go about oh, manipulating it, how you want it to work. So let's dive into that now. Okay, we're at the nest here now. First of all, what you do uh, is to get to the menu, you just press down on the bottom here. When you get your device, you'll see that it's, uh, that there's a little give giveaway right there that will accentuate that and you'll understand exactly what's going on here. Uh, right here, as you can see, that's highlighted. That's where you're at. You come down here, go to settings. Uh, let's see, fan schedule. I don't have a fan schedule. Uh, let's see, lock. Uh, on this option, you can lock this in order for people not to be able to mess with it. Let's say you have a, a babysitter that is playing with the thermostat. You don't want them to, or you know, some relative that likes to come over and just mess with your stuff. So you can lock it for different situations. All right, here it tells me what my eco settings, my minimum and maximum are here. Uh, now, home away assist, you press that, you can uh, automatically use eco temperatures when no one is home. If I wanted to do that, I could just go ahead and do that. Uh, but we, we do have it set right now, and uh, it's, it's sensing that I'm home, so it's not using it. Uh, let's see here. Nest Sense uh, just gives you a couple different things that you can do with your Nest here. And I'm not going to go through all these. These are things that you can you can look into um, if you really want to get it uh, automated quite elaborately. Uh, we do not have it like that right now, and we don't uh, really see a use for it quite yet. All right, here you have reminders. I set this up uh, so that it can uh, let me know when I need to change the filter. At this time, that is the only reminder that's there. So I'll just cr uh, 
click on that. Uh, let's see. Brightness is at medium. You can go high, auto, low, or medium. We like it at medium. Display, wake on approach. That's, that means that it will go to sleep after a set amount of time. And then when you approach, it senses you're near and it comes on. Uh, you also have, uh, let's see down here. As you can see right down here, it says wake on approach. Wake on press, that's the button down here. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see, and then these are all the different settings you can use if you like. Okay, more settings. And uh, let's see. Click sound, that's just for this right here. I'm not sure if you can hear it, but uh, when you move that, you can hear it. We like it on. And this is your current temperature. Of course, you can go, just go like that uh, for Celsius or Fahrenheit. Uh, placement, you have a whole bunch of different areas that you can select. Right on down the line. And there's quite a few. And if right, right here, if you wanna add custom, go ahead and add your custom. We'll leave it as dining room network as you can see I'm connected to my network uh, you know network name this is I can disconnect it and then go to a different network if I like uh, let's see disconnect no we don't want to do that uh, see now these are all the ones in the current area I have some really interesting people around here so you know and, and this is what I was talking about earlier about the network setting. Uh, the C is 5 gigahertz, but I'm not sure why it did not uh, connect to it, but that's quite alright. I got enough on that 5 gigahertz anyways. And there we go. We're going to take that out as well. Language, English, August, you know, date and time. This is when it was filmed. Equipment, okay equipment right here. This is where it shows you how you have it set up behind the plate on the uh, installation that I showed you. You'll see that uh, that's exactly what I did. So if you want to go back and, and see that, that's fine. Go ahead. But that's how it's connected in the back. Uh, Nest Pro, that's for the Pro installers. Technical information. Now this is where I got the Nick and all that stuff. I'm not going to go in here and show you my MAC address. Well, my Nick. I'm not going to go in here and show you my MAC address. You guys don't need to know that. Uh, let's see, sensors. It uh, gives you the type of sensors that uh, we have on this device. Equipment. Just showing your connection. I just showed you. Display. Stuff. Legal info. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Reset and we could reset it if we want to. Okay, that's just a real quick overview. If you want to dive into this stuff a lot more when you get your own, or uh, just look into it further when you decide that uh, you actually might want to get a Nest, I'm really happy with it. The only complaint I have is with the uh, lack of communication from the ticket I put in and that it didn't directly connect up to my wireless even though that could have been you know just either a glitch or uh, could have been something with my router okay there you go everyone that is how i got it connected i'm not sure if the mac address filter actually did anything seeing that i could not find the mac address uh, in the filter area on my Wi-Fi. I do not know what happened with that, but it is connected now and it's running everything the way we want it to. So, what do I think about the Nest? I like the Nest a lot. It's uh, one of those things that uh, you just gotta fiddle with sometimes to get working. I'm not impressed with Nest's lack of getting back to me with the ticket that I put in. Uh, and the trouble it was giving me to connect up to either a 5 gigahertz or the 2.4 uh, connection. So 
Aside from those two things, we've been very happy with this and I definitely at least give it a, a one to two thumbs up out of maybe two to three rating. Uh, it's it's a it's a nice little device. It's something that brings us into uh, the modern age. Uh, we can monitor it from home through different things, uh, through the Google Home as well as the Google Mini in the basement. So you know it's it's very convenient. Uh, was it worth uh, about 150 to 200 dollars we paid for it? If you want to go this route with your home automation, why certainly. It was about uh, 100 to uh, 150 dollars cheaper than what it was when it first came out. So my outlook: yes, if you want to go this route, definitely get a, a Nest uh, Generation Three. They're worth it. They're cheap and uh, they're built very well. There's a lot of information on this, a lot to play with, a lot of things to play with if you're a tinkerer. So. I definitely say go for it. Now, with that being said, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification button, and this is Chris saying out.